Turner Field welcomed a new high-tech Coke bottle. We got a peek of that new bottle today as crews put on that big cap. And talk about high-tech, it has thousands of LED lights capable of showing off over 16 million different colors. The bottle's label is a big screen TV as well, and it can still shoot out those fireworks. That just makes me really thirsty, Stephanie. Uh, I'm Corey Anderson in for Gil Tyree today. The Braves actually won a road series today in Chicago, their first road series win since visiting New York way back in May. It's what we call a long time ago. At the friendly confines of Wrigley Field, the Braves get a couple of assists from Cubs outfielders. Jake Fox, no. That's going to score Nate McLeod, 1-0 Braves. Later, it's Martin Prado again at bat. And Mr. Fukudome, oh, Mr. Fukudome. That ball gets by him. He ends up scoring 3-1 to one at that point. And uh, the Braves again later scored on a wild pitch. The final today, 4-1. to one. The Braves win the game and the series up in Chicago. All right, well, first, Mike Bibby. Now it looks like Zaza is coming back to the Hawks as well. The 25-year-old foot eleven center has reportedly agreed to a four-year extension, the value of which has yet to be released. Zaza averaged six points and six rebounds per game last season. The last update on his Twitter page 24 hours ago said that he's getting lots of messages about staying with the Hawks, but he didn't have an exact answer for everyone just yet. Well, the authorities confirmed today that former Tennessee Titans quarterback Steve McNair was indeed murdered by his 20-year-old 20, 20 girlfriend who then turned the gun on herself. Fans in Nashville paid their respects to the 36-year-old quarterback today who led the Titans to Super Bowl 34 right here in Atlanta. Today's memorial service at LP Field in Nashville included a video retrospective of McNair's career. You can read more about the police investigation on CBSAtlanta.com. Well, Lance Armstrong remains in second place after the fifth stage of Zerto de France. Today's ride 122 miles along the Mediterranean Sea. Despite windy conditions, Lance Armstrong finished in the middle of the pack, retaining second place. The overall leader is still Fabian Cancellara of Switzerland. He probably doesn't pronounce his name like that, but I just did. And your stage five winner, Frenchman Thomas Vogler, who completed today's stage in four hours, 29 minutes and 35 seconds. All right, NASCAR's drivers heading to Chicagoland Speedway for their one and only stop there this season. Last year's winner was Kyle Busch. He may still be a little wobbly from last week's wreck in Daytona. Denny Hamlin finished third at Daytona and is looking forward to going back to Chicago. It's had really good racing in the past. I know last year they had a great finish with uh, the 48 and 18. So it's uh, we like going there. Uh, it's, you know, somewhat close to the city so we can kind of visit there and, uh, you know, spend time there on Sunday. So, uh, yeah, I like going there for that reason. All right, sports line only a half hour this week. Still starts at 7. Gil Tyree's in for Mark Harmon and WQXI's Nick Cellini will be here as usual. And the Thrashers re-signed restricted free agent forward Jim Slater today. I'm Corey Anderson. So, Jimmy, always good to talk to in the locker room. He's one of those guys that likes the cameras. Some of the guys, not so much. Well, it's better when they like them, right? That is All much right. better for us. Thank you, sir.